Hi guys, Mr. Photoshop 101 here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a background like this. So first of all, open up your version of Photoshop. I'm going to be using CS5, so let's go straight on into this. Just make your background black. Then you want to go to your brush tool. Get this one with like the glowy effect. Make it the size of your height of your wallpaper. So I'm just gonna make sure it's white. Create a new layer. Then just click anywhere. Then I'm gonna center it. Then just go onto blending options. Then do a gradient. Sorry guys, just trying to sort this out. So I'll just select two colours and use any. I'm going to use a pink and a blue. Then what you want to do is just create a new layer. Go filter, render, clothes. Then just go to overlay and you get this cool cloud effect. Then just merge all the layers and you've got this. Now you just want to make your text, it's going to be about 300 to 500 in size depending on the text. Gonna center it, and I'm gonna put it on an angle. So better. Like okay, now I've got this. Just wanna put the fill to zero percent, and then go on to blending options. I'm just gonna add a drop shadow. Just on that. Just gonna have a bevel and a contour, a shrug. That's three pixels and out of glow of the colour black. One more normal past the hundred percent size whatever you want and spread just put it up a teeny weeny bit. And I think that should do. So I'm just gonna click OK. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna duplicate that and you're gonna make it smaller in size to so about 24. Well, 36. Then you're just gonna stick GFX or something on the end or whatever you like. Change the colour of the shirt to a bit more. So I might keep it black. Take out a cloth and different. I'll keep the other one. And that should do. So here we have this. Now what you want to do is go to your brush, make it to the hard edge brush, and change the size to about 20. Then you're just gonna create a new layer. Just gonna merge the text layers. Okay. So what you wanna do is click F5 when you're on 20. Click Shape Dynamics, which you'll get this. Just make sure that size here is on 100%, and all this is on zero. 
Then you want to go to scattering, closing percent, 1 and 0 percent, off, and you want to transfer. Just put the floor jitter up to full and opacity here, up to full. Then you should get this. So now you just go to your pen tool, click here and here, and you will go right click, short path, brush and simulate pressure. Then you get this nice bubble effect. Then just position it where you like it. Then what you want to do is duplicate that and put it down here. And then just merge these layers and put it onto your overlay. Then you get this. And just reposition it to where you like it. And then, if you don't like some, you can rub them out. Um, and that's pretty much it. Merge them all, and then you've got a cool little background. Thanks, this has been another tutorial with Mr. Photoshop. One Thanks.